Pink Blue another year. Or oh, oh, Mob. Mob. I'm sorry, Mob. Mob, bro. <laughs> Mob not Pink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but that was level of freedom. Yeah, right. And the Jay-Z piece was the first piece of the Pablo series. Okay. Yeah. And it, it, it really struck a creative freedom towards me. Yeah. And um, it came together, man. The yeah. hair, man. The bandana. Yeah. And this creating it, it's just... It's, it was a free state. It was a free state. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It was free. And and honestly, yeah, I think Instagram is the first thing that we curate. Right. We curate Instagram. Now, if you you if you are an artist, you curate your page. You are a right. curator. You curate your vibe. Yeah. You are usual by the way the algorithm works. You know, but I, I do this. Yeah. You curate what you post. So if yeah. somebody say I'm getting them a negative feed. You are you are indulging. Right. You you are finding joy in looking at gossip. Or fighting, right. or or whatever crazy yeah. stuff you into, it's gonna show you what you look at. Yeah, right. I feel you. So everyone's a curator. You're not a follower. You're not a you're a curator. You're right. curating what you view. Yeah. So if you curate your Instagram page with levels of success and yeah. greatness and you know freedom. Yeah. You won't find success, greatness, and freedom. freedom. That 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 wine hit stronger than some tequila hit when you yeah. push from like that. That's a little, Different, it's different flavor. But the resin is killer too though. Yeah. Um I love resin. Okay. I've cut back from resin a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um for health reasons. Oh, okay. If you don't have the right equipment with resin, you can damage your lungs. I oh, I know that. Okay. I have been there um had to do a deep lung detox. So that's a whole oh, okay. natural. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but it, it can damage your lungs. Okay. And um I love resin, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, it's probably one of my favorite finishers. Yeah. Um you know, you can get that right pop, you mix it yeah. with the right stuff, and it can go in the dark. So many cool things right. happen with it. But don't play with resin unless you really know what you're doing and, and you are ready to have the proper equipment. Okay. I'm glad yeah. you said that. Yeah. yeah. Resin is no game. Okay. Yeah. I know from having a bad cough for almost six months. Okay. Having a cough during Corona season? Uh, yeah. Not, good. Scary, yeah. Not good. Not yeah. good. <laughs> Not good. Not good, man. I'm scared to cough. Not man, yeah, I couldn't help it. Yeah, my right. lungs had so much time. Yeah, you, you can't help it. You can't help it. Bro, I was mixing yeah. gallons of resin a, a week. Yeah. That's Literally. Crazy. Like yeah. one or two gallons and yeah. no mask on sometimes. Right. And I pour it in my studio. Mm. So there's no air ventilation. Yeah. Like you have to make sure you take the right protocols. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm taking a break from resin. Okay. I do want to pour resin on Trisha's baby, but I'm okay yeah. with that. So I, do you feel like sometimes you be like I'll put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the time. Man. All the time. I love it. But you know what I mean? But, like pooping on the Right. 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 It's calling but, me. But, the resin, but honestly, since I detox my lungs from yeah. the resin, it's hard for me to work with it. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Because I, yeah. I'm a smoker already. Okay. I've been a weed smoker. And then having that, like, yeah. you know, it, it's a bad combination. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't aware of that. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. It can mess you up. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So, um, you had mentioned your your mom before. Now you had uh, did you have like a visual art art um yeah you uh, yeah. got your mom yeah. is that correct yeah okay. so we have um the Bundell House Visual Art right. Gallery okay which was supposed to be a physical gallery but I think the way the world is going I'm gonna keep it visual okay um and that my mom had six of us five oh, okay. boys one girl. Um, all my friends are always very well at my mom's house. Yeah. So it's like, you go to Brenda's house, go to Brenda's house. Yeah. 
And um, the gallery is just a way of me showing love to my mom while she's yeah. still breathing. She had pancreas cancer. She's not supposed to be here. Right. You know anything about pancreas cancer? I think it's like a um, five or seven percent life weight. That's yeah. when people live from it, not five or seven percent of it. And um, her journey was a very deep journey for us as a family. And um, I'm happy that I can name my gallery after my mom because yeah. she's able to um, understand what that meant to him to be here yeah. with us. Because the chance of her being here was right. something up. Yeah. So um, yeah. Let me answer this. Did your mom used to sit up in the balcony at six? Yeah, you know. That's what I was thinking. Because yeah. when I was, yeah. whenever you say you went to six, I'm like, I like you. I wonder if that's still. I was like, yeah. well, I wonder if Miss Brendan's mouth was. And yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. So I was, I was, I'm I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, they had braids back then, though, right? Yeah, yeah I, that's what I was thinking. I, I was had like, back then. Okay, yeah, yeah. I did back then. Yeah, yeah. 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 my, my son, my son was a baby back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So like. I see your mom a lot uh, when I was yeah. doing work. She was telling me that yeah. when I told you you wanted to yeah. she told me the same thing. Wow. Um, yeah, like, you, yeah, she's you know, amazing you know, person. You know my mom, man. Yeah. Like, she's 100. Yeah. So, like, the name the gallery after my mom. Right. Now, I think 2022, we're going to turn up, we're going to turn up the gallery up. Okay. Um, We're going to have more exhibits, more virtual exhibits. Okay. More ways to interact with our actual yeah. collectors. And a lot of cool things is coming for that. What's your dream as an artist? Uh, to help other artists. Okay. Yeah. I, I think to give artists freedom, yeah. bro, and to take someone and, and see their face light up in that yeah. moment, well, that's all I need, bro. I can yeah. make money. I don't even have no money. Yeah. But to help artists build who they are as artists and hit another plateau, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I'm here for, bro. In contrast to that, what aggravates you as an artist? I don't too much aggravate me, but I don't, I don't okay. stuff going and get me. That's good. Um, yeah. I have anger issues, so I gotta know yeah. when and to not let it get to me. Um, yeah. The only thing that bothers me as artists is when I have artists complain. That's why if you okay. I, I pick gotcha. one thing gotcha. out, okay. it's complaining. My man, we live in the era of opportunity. Right. You can miss it because yeah. it's going to change someday. Yeah. Or you can take advantage of it, and you can find someone like yeah. me to talk to. You can find someone that can help you. Ever like where we're at, yeah. and become better in the better round, or you can complain about it. Yeah, like you stand in front of me and you for real, I'm gonna get you back. Yeah, it's do easy. You, do you think a lot of young artists are fearful of um, coming to uh, I don't want to say experienced artists, but you know, artists that are seasoned? Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, man, look, they may be for some artists. I don't got that ego problem. Yeah, I mean, I don't, right? I didn't go to art school. Yeah. I tried to go to art school, they told me no. Okay. I went to art school for college for a year, two years, and then I ended up going back and, and completing a lot of my art shit yeah. in college, but bro, I ain't bro, they got no ego issues. Yeah. I'd rather teach a whole tribe of artists to eat yeah. than feel like I'm above a bunch of people. I for me that. and me personally. Yeah. A lot of artists told they helped me out. Yeah. And I got a list of all of them, bro. Yeah. All of them kill this. And they gonna all learn when I go next level up. Right. Next level up, they yeah. still at the same level, they won't understand. Do you think that's motivation to you in a sense? Um, it could it could be. I yeah. I just feel like them understanding that they ain't no gatekeepers. Yeah. We got social media. The people are the gatekeepers. Right. We yeah, are the gatekeepers. They ain't, ain't no gatekeepers yeah. no Now we can fall into that bullshit and believe it. Right. But we the gatekeepers, bro. Yeah. Ain't nobody. Come on, man. You make dope art, post it online. You liable to sell more than somebody who's in the gallery for nine years. I put it. Yeah, I think that um, people doubting. Me. I hate. I hate this about myself. People doubting me has always made me go harder, and I always mm -hmm. felt like I should just be able to go harder regardless. But that just pushes me to a whole another level. I had, you know I, had I, mean? I had I had a speech that. impediment as a kid, bro. Yeah. So that type of that type of mentality for me don't even hold weight. Right. Because unless you had a real true speech impediment, I'm not you saying saying like a word wrong or saying the sound wrong, right. but having thoughts and can't process them out, bro. They look at you like you crazy. Right. They look at yeah. you like you are special. They, yeah. they look at you like you're not smart. Yeah. They try to downplay your intelligence. Yeah. So if that happened, I can't worry about them. Right. I gotta focus on the goal. Yeah. The goal is I stutter right now, let's work to fix it. Right. The, on the goal is let's make 20k. Yeah. 
I'm saying no, you got to focus on the goal. You can't yeah. focus on the people clowning you. How did you overcome that stuff? Uh, I worked on it a long time. Okay. I worked on it a long time. Um, you had to take classes? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I just really just, me personally, I didn't take classes. Yeah. I'll probably wear at some point just to kind of go ahead and perfect a few small things. Okay. I read a lot of, I read a lot of speech books. Yeah. Um, and I just took time. Yeah. And, you know, and then I went to therapy. Yeah. I think a lot of my stuttering came from trauma. Yeah. And once you release that trauma, you learn more yourself. If you yeah. more comfortable, if I stutter or not, I don't give a damn. Right. Before I stutter or not, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. And once, once I learned to let go of them triggers and let go of that trauma, I became more natural inside yeah. myself. I think that... Um, it's free like it's free like the Jay-Z piece. Right. And I think that uh, some of those things that are traumatic are just part of things that God has been placing in you mm -hmm. to get you over that because he knew you were going to make it over that. Fast. But it's it's just part of your creative process. You know True. So it's definitely part of the process, but I mean, I understand that right. failure is going to happen. Yeah. And, I, and understanding even through your insecurities, you're going to be great. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah, I believe that. So let me ask you about, when we talk about the Jay-Z piece, but we also have the Nipsey piece. Nipsey piece, man. Piece. What's the name of that piece? It's called Long Live Nip. Okay. L O N. Um, I've been a Nipsey fan since 2009. Yeah. Boys uh -huh. had no name. Got type of ill. Must have been showing my age. And uh, Nip created for me was a genius. Right. I mean, you you can look at Victory Lap, but he had yeah. Clinshaw, yeah. the Marathon. Yeah. He's a Be creative a genius, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And um, always spoke resonant to me. I think if any, if somebody asked me who you want to talk to that's yeah. not here, I'll probably put Nip on that list. Okay. Just just because his logic and his creativity and the way he thought, like, you got to be a certain, you got to be free within yourself yeah. to really think that way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as long as that. Is he more influential than Tupac? No, I was playing. I don't want you to answer. <laughs> don't, answer don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I ain't going to do it. I'm getting a code whether or not do it. Okay? I'm going to let it go. But my people who know me, you, yeah, yeah, you know where I'm at with it. Yeah, you know, I'm ready to die any day. Anyway, <laughs> let's move forward. Nah. You trying to get me mad for that. You think about this damn chill. No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm a big Nip fan. Um, my boy Brandon, who used to um, be the executive producer on here, he used to uh, he actually put me on Nip. Um, yeah. He put me on Nip, and he actually put me on Drake around the same time. So, mm -hmm. and they like you said, 2009. That was around the same time. Yeah, that Drake came out. It's so um, yeah, they all part of the same place. Yeah, like you know him, him Wale, me, and all, Wale, all Jake all on. Yeah. But um, it, it, he says stuff that. Not just in his music, but just in interviews and everything. It's like he was never just about himself. And I think that's important mm -hmm. because you're not a selfless person. He mm -hmm. wants to educate the masses. You know what I mean? True. And for somebody that came from nothing, you don't have to think like that. Like a lot of the people, the majority of people we see, rappers wise, they're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I think we got to go far. I think there's farther than rappers. Yeah. I think people rap. Well, well, yeah, true. I think though, like, a lot of people say they come from nothing. Yeah. And they but they come from stable environments. Right. Um right. My mom did an amazing job. Okay. But we came from nothing, bro. Right. Okay. So so when you come from nothing, you get damn fool not to have someone else get it. I agree. Apple like you, you, right. you, you know what it's like to be hungry. Yeah. You know what it's like to be in environments that's not safe. Yeah. Like, well, we grew up in the same area. Like, we knew how the East End was. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't live in the I lived in the East. Yeah. So, like, when you go up in that environment, you understand that if you don't help the next man out, well, you already lost. Because yeah. that's because they don't got morals. The morals are not in place. Yeah. Your morals in place. You got to help people step up. Yeah. And that's, and that's really what I try to do with our artists. Yeah. No matter what your background in life is, I'm trying to help you take one step up inside of your crew. It's how well we got going on. And I think that mentorship is very important because I think that um, something that I look at a lot now and I talk to about my friends and everything like that, it's like, you don't 
I think a lot of people will say like I say, I say you're a lot of people's old heads ain't like they used to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was younger, like I had a vet that was like out there. You know what I mean? Like yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would yeah. never let me get anywhere yeah. near the stuff that they would. You know what I'm saying? Like any like anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he wouldn't let me get anywhere near the hood or anything like that. If I come through there, like he's like, nah, go. Home. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's stuff like that. You have to look at like they, people just ain't looking at mentorship like they like they should be today. And I think that um, there are people that do it, but we need more. I think people do it. I I just think it's viewed differently. Okay. Yeah, I think it's viewed differently. I know so many great brothers in the right. city outside there are the city great ones, yeah. who touch down with these kids. Yeah, right. Great stuff with them. Um, I I do think. The the idea that mentorship stops when you become an adult is the reason for lack of growth. Okay. Right? So to be successful in anything in life, you need someone that has been through something. And they don't gotta be older, they don't gotta be the age don't matter. Right, right. Just, it's just about the experience. The experience yeah. and whatever you need and grow for. You right. shouldn't have one mentor. You shouldn't have a life mentor, right. a business mentor, art mentor. You should have people around you. That helps you go and succeed in life. Yeah. Um, but there is a lot of great brothers and a lot of great things. I just think I, I agree. these young kids are just like us or just like me. Yeah, right. And and I, I had older cousins that tell me not to do this, don't do that. But mm-hmm. I was out there doing whatever I wanted to do. Yeah. And I think that they were the same way. Yeah. But we have more tools to help save them than they than our mentors had with us. I agree. So we can show them. See, my whole point with any young artist not. If you're a young artist and you're going through hardships, hit my DM because I can teach you to get a bag. Yeah. A legit bag. Yeah. You can be in the worst area of life. Yeah. I can get you right. If you follow these steps and put the time in, yeah. we can get you where you need to be at. We didn't we didn't have that same access right. to money back in the day. It was forcing us to, you know, do what we had to do yeah. to survive. There's no need for these kids to do the same thing. Right. But they need someone to show them the exact way to make the goal happen. Right. All right. So we had talked about a lot about the pieces on on the wall. Um, on the popular side. Yeah. So you have yeah. the you have the Jay Z painting. You have yeah. the Nipsey painting. Now that's the Pablo side. But you have another artist on the other side. The Malcolm Xavier side. Right. And, and that's the journey. Okay. And you have J Cole up here. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um. Let's do a quick rundown through the. Um, Malcolm Xavier's side too. Okay, yes. Get a feel for it. Please. Um, the Xavier side starts from She Is God. Okay. She's a powerful woman piece that I created in 2019. Okay. My first whole eight piece actually. Oh, wow. okay. And uh, that piece is symbolizes the power that women hold. Yes. Um, we can't create like women can. Right. So I'm a firm believer that, that we all are gods and that's how we're sense. Right. Which, of course, we're most high yeah. above us, but we are all a form of God. Yeah. So that's where she is God came from and then, you know, continue to the journey. This side of the wall that shows my growth as an artist. Mm. The J. Cole's piece is one of my biggest portraits that I ever done. Oh, okay. Mm. And it just holds so much power. Yeah. The blue, the white, the gold, the black, the contrast of it is yeah. so beautiful. And in my opinion, J. Cole's is a symbol of constant growth. Okay. You watch his career, you watch right. my growth. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I like to think deep when I, when I go and create, to make sure there's meaning behind it. Yeah. And the J. Cole piece symbolized growth for me. Yeah. It was a transition piece. Okay. This piece transitioned into, excuse me, transition into the big popular series. Yeah. So to common eye, you know, people want to see the J. Cole, but to somebody that's like really analyzing it, there's a lot going on in this. Oh thing. yeah, but you tell that that outline is yeah. is definitely dope. That's life. Yeah, that's yeah. life. Like I'm a firm believer, life is consistent with chaos. Yeah. So okay. you have to be able to find beauty in plain chaos. Yeah. And that's what the black line on that piece symbolizes, and that's yeah. what the gold is. Even him looking down. I mean, it's like you mentioned. You just analyze career. I, I mentioned my stepbrother earlier. Um, Around 2009, Nipsey, Drake, J. Cole, you know, Wale. Yeah. I was talking about, I was like, I was like oh, this is Drake's nice. He's like, nah, 
Let's do J. Cole and different. We gotta do J. Cole and J. Cole different band. He he, yeah. he a creative muscle. Um he he curates his albums. Right. If you love art, like I love art, yeah. I'm talking about like I I with hip hop art levels. Yeah. Like look, for example, I did a piece for Westside. It's on my page, Westside Guns. I created mm. a piece based off of him. And when he commented on it, bro, that was like, bro, he hit a yeah. step with the prayer hands, and you know, and to have some type of um, um, some some type of uh, approval, yeah, from someone who's so high in the hip hop art yeah. world, man. Westside don't get the respect he deserves, bro. He will, but he will. We're our curator. I put it on it. Westside gonna have me in inside the Buffalo Gallery. Watch, I put it on yeah. it. And I ain't even talked to him in a man yet, but I put it on it. Westside gonna have me in that gallery, bro. We can talk about music all day. Cause I mean honestly, I think Risotta, they're gonna have that moment like the locks just had their moment. Where we're not <laughs> not just like people that are hip hop fans, we always respect the locks, yeah. we always love the locks. But a couple weeks ago when they went against Vip set, the whole world but I went, think was like, Rizoda, oh man, like why did you know? Especially with especially with West Side, what I say, is, I think it's so special. Yeah. Is the key fact being is that he's a curator first, bro. Right. Like 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 to be a true, but I'm a curator. Yeah. Like if if you give me five or six different artists and place and put me in a room and be like, yo, look, make a show, oh, bro. Like I curated yeah. me and Corey curated everything in this room right. together. Yeah. West is a curator, and I don't even know the man. Like he just show love on my page, but like I from. From the vibe I get, yeah. bro. He, 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 he a real, he a real curator. He's what hip hop needs. He's what the culture needs. And man, like, I'm trying to tell you, I put it, I put yeah. it down. I'm gonna be in the Buffalo Gallery. Yeah. At some point in my career, really that? West gonna know what it yeah. is. We gonna get. Yeah. We so the lady, you come from. We right there or not? That suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I got that brunch. I got a brunch. But okay, so I want to ask you one, one or two questions real okay. quick, and we can get out of here. Yeah. Um, your favorite wine. Ooh. Since we own wine, so, what about your favorite wine? I love machete wine. Okay. Machete um, wine from uh Orange Swift, I believe is the name of the uh the people that actually make it. It has the bottle is great, it has a black woman. Um it's either black or or Latino. I I, I can't you can't really sell. I put in the color. Yeah, but she's holding a machete on it. And okay. she's she either naked or she ain't. You know what I mean? Yeah. On it. But the it's taste of it bottle. is so good. Orange yeah. Swift just makes good wine, period, to be yeah. honest. Um, but they make some great wine. Uh I love I'm a red wine person, but I'm a dry red wine person. So, but what I recently began into is Bordeaux. I used to be in Cabernet Sauvignon, yeah. but I love Bordeaux now. But um machete wine is my favorite right now. A second question, what would you tell Someone like me who don't drink wine, but this might be the yeah. second bottle of wine I'm gonna have in five or ten years. Okay, I'm not a big wine drinker. So, what would you say would be a good starter wine for someone like me? Um, so honestly, a starter wine, you can go to Yellowtail. So a lot of people they go to like Stella Rosa. But Stella Rosa is too sweet to me. Mm. I think it's to the point where it doesn't taste like a wine. It tastes like a juice. Right. Um, so it could be a starter wine, but I don't think it really is. I would go to something like a Yellowtail as a starter. 19 Crimes is a great starter okay. wine um, because they have different variations. It has a great bottle. Um, it's strong. So if you use the hard liquor, you can go straight to a, oh, yeah. something like that and then just vary off to different things. But um, definitely go with something like that. Um, really can't go too wrong with Italian wines either. Though. Like you just go to the Italian. If you go to Wine of Spirits, they have like Italian wine. Out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can find affordable wines that would just, you know, want to test some things out. Okay. Yeah. That's all I have. I'm, yeah. like, you know, I'm not a wine drinker. Yeah. I'm a weed smoker and yeah. tequila drinker. But I mean, so I don't really, and I, I get it, like, same thing. a lot of people don't like the dry wine, but you know, if you want to start off with the um, sweet wine and you want to, like, vary off some different things, then mess with the blends. You know what I mean? The blends definitely help out. Um, some people like the white wines, it's too. White wines are too sugary for me. Okay. I like the that's why I like the dry wines. I don't like the sugar stuff. Okay. So um, you know, I mean I, I think that over time you'll get in the wine. You know what I mean? I think I think I think you'll catch I think I think you'll go to a few a few you events, you'll be like, oh, I'm gonna drink some wine. You, you know what I mean? I mean yeah. I never drink wine by much right there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's all I had, man. I just I wanted to ask you those questions. Yeah. Me being a newbie to the wine game. I'm not a newbie to the wing game too, but okay. So let me ask you this though. Um, 
regarding you had mentioned on the Malcolm McVeigh for a second. You had mentioned the sheet of God. Yeah. Can you explain the um as far as I know you mentioned that you had explained it deep into it, but what brought you to that? Like was there any any specific inspiration that got you to making that painting that day when you made that? Um that painting was done in twenty 2019, 2019, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, but a woman is the first one to really show us how to love. Right. They show us how to nurture. Yeah. They make us be as protective as possible. Right. Um, so, you know, you have to think, take a deep dive of if God was a woman. Mm. I mean, if, if you really think about it, the principles we build on the principles that our mother gave us. Right. Our fathers teach us to hunt and protect. A mother teaches to love and nurture. Yeah. The poor made men's image comes by her name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eric yes, do. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted to ask you. But the last question I'm gonna ask you, we touched on mental health a lot. Yeah. In this conversation. Big mental health, yeah. Yeah. So shout out to David Burton and the mental health coach. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dad, you know. Yeah. So out of the mental health realm. Was there ever a painting that brought you to tears like, as you were making it? Uh, tears, no. Okay. Uh, were you even just an emotional point where you're just like... I, I think in, in my case, art is a joyful form of therapy. Okay. I won't so much say tears. I would say a form of being a sight. You know what I'm saying? Being yeah. at that point like, yo, right. this, is, this, this is it. Yeah. Um, Trisha's baby had that effect on me. Yeah. Like this created Trisha's baby from yeah. the idea of another deep rooted really story that I won't really go into real with Trisha's baby. But seeing that form and come to life, yeah. that was definitely the one that left me like, man, like this is something special. Yeah. And um she's got as I say feeling, but not like bring but not like Trisha's baby. Yeah. Trisha's baby must be the closest piece I say that to. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think Trisha's baby. That's a, that's a powerful piece. Yeah, it's a powerful piece. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a extremely powerful piece. Um, but I appreciate you coming on the show. Oh, my so thank you for the wings and the wine. Yeah, I definitely feel like we want to have another part on this, you know, oh, yeah, later on down the line. Yeah, because it was a great conversation. Before we actually close, though, we have behind us the couch. The couch. The couch. Tell me about the couch. Um. Pull up the point five gallery before September fifth. Sign the couch. This couch is going to be millions of dollars one day. Mm. I, I put it on everything yeah. because we have an event. First of all, I'm gonna give a quick backstory before we go deep. I was a kid that colored and drawed on everything, but I, I had that complex of if you put a pen in my hand, yeah. whew, even as a though I can control myself. Put a pen in my hand, I'm gonna paint on something. Okay, so. He was, you know, I, there was rules in my house, not the couch, not the walls. Right, right. Yeah, you know, of yeah. all that type of stuff. So, me bringing the couch here, me telling people to go crazy on it, yeah. me seeing kids joy of being yeah. able to draw on the couch, yeah. right? I, I'm never selling the couch. Oh, uh, yeah? No, nah, it's going to yeah. be in the collection forever. So, if you're in the city, if you're out of the city, if you don't have an appointment set up, hit me. I would get you in the gallery. You don't have to buy anything. Mm. You can sign the couch and you can join the journey, man. The couch today. You said I signed the open. I signed the couch. I definitely signed the couch. I couldn't I couldn't jump on the couch because I couldn't write on the couch. No I'll definitely the go on there. I'll definitely go on there and sign on the couch. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? That's the actual couch me. The couch yeah. is the symbol, the symbol of the journey. Yeah. At the gallery and it seems to won't live on forever. Yeah. So be a part of history. Yeah. So I mean, this is a constructive, so I'm gonna go ahead and that ain't gonna be the last question. I wanna ask about what we have on the table here. Oh yeah, Mo. Mo. Uh Mo is a figurine. 
Mo is the idea. Mo, he represents so much. Okay. Um, he means more life. Okay. When that being said, which, you know, he symbolizes the power to keep going forward. Mm. One common trend that I have in my life that I hold passion with is I stay motivated to move forward. Mm. Yeah. So I want to create a character that represents that. Not what Mo does. Yeah. Um, the one we have on the table is the Mo that the world is yours version. Okay. That's how I was thinking. Right. Yeah. Um, it holds words within the life yeah. and power and understanding we move forward. And that's what Mo means. Okay. Life. What is it? Is, is there anything like, because I see like letters and stuff like that on it. It looks like, is that representing anything specifically or is it does the same thing? Like, it's it's a journey. So there's hope, there's okay. love, there's yeah. life, there's okay. death. Um, that particular piece is a custom one, so all the mo figurines yeah. are hundred percent made by me. Mm. Hand painted, hand embellished, like most of my upper tail prints are. Yeah. And I'm them are one by ones. Mm. So when I get one, you know, that's my phone. I might feel yeah. like hope, love, and life. Yeah. I may feel like fear, hate, and death one day. You know what I'm saying? So every piece you get, you have a piece of the emotion from the moment of the artist me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, but check out Mo. He has his own Instagram page, Mo Xavier Seven. Right? Oh, okay. So follow Mo right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, man. So um, let me ask this to close out for sure. What do we have coming up in the future, or what? Um, I'm gonna help other artists. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. Yeah. But I know my goal is to help artists who are not aware of the power of social media. Okay. Take that step forward. Okay. Um. It's always new art coming. Yeah. It's always new embellished prints coming. Yeah. Um, twenty twenty two. That's crazy saying that. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, it's only skipped a year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When this gallery will be hosting art shows. Okay. And it would be a different type of experience. I've never yeah. seen before. Um, that's what I got to look forward to. Just follow my Instagram page, Malcolm Xavier Seven. You can always push his art at MalcolmXavier7.com. dot com. Prints, embellish um, some originals are on there as well. The only thing that I would ask for everyone to do is, and I say this when I talk to anyone, is find your favorite artist on Instagram. I want you to save at least three of their posts. Mm -hmm. I want you to like three posts. I want you to comment on three posts. I want you to share three posts. Okay. That's if if anyone today don't take nothing else from it, and if you take that currency, yeah. a saving, liking commenting and sharing and apply that to at least two artists in your life. Okay. That's all I ask. Okay. And you can even tag me in. You tag me in and I'll send you something special. Mm. You heard that. So 2022. We got a few months left. Go ahead and do that now. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. you. <laughs> go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and hit up the DM about mentorship. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just go ahead and wear, wear himself out. He was like, oh, man, take that down, take that down. I don't get tired. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely appreciate you man, coming you on the you show, man. You know, man. Definitely family, for sure. Family for everyone, thank you for Cordy O'Shea. He's got Curated to Gallery. Yeah, Cordy Gallery. Gallery. He's actually monitoring the camera right now, too. <laughs> Shout out Cordy Gallery. Yeah. Shout out David A. Burton. Follow him online at David Burton One Global Wellness. We don't have a therapist. Get you a therapist, guys. Mm -hmm. The first step of understanding yourself is you to talk to yourself about someone else. So yes. That's my final words. I'm done. I feel that. So again, we had wings from Back to the Future. Definitely check them out. Um, they're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. They're on East Carson Street. The wine today is 19 Crimes Cali Red with Snoop Dogg on our label. Thank you for our guest, Malcolm Xavier, for coming on the show. Thank you, for me, brother. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely check out Wings and Wine. You can follow us on Instagram at Wings X Wine. You can follow me on any social media at City Needs Me. Thank you for watching. You have a great night. Yo, shout out Corey O'Shea. It's move with him. You dash seventy eight. Thank yes, you, my and we'll definitely put that information in the con in the information section as well. And thank you for watching Wings and Wine. Wings and Wine, my brother. It's night. Nice.